T-Spines for Rhino lets you easily create unique, stunning jewelry pieces. For jewelers, using T-Spines for Rhino is like working with digital clay in the precise Rhino environment. Jewelers say that T-Spines gives a creative freedom that is absent in other CAD tools, and that T-Spines significantly speeds up the time required to make organic designs. So here's how T-Spines works. The easiest way to start modeling with T-Spines is to create a primitive, or a simple shape. Each T-Spines model is made up of faces that you can push and pull to shape the design. To create more complex shapes, you can extrude faces or bridge faces together. To make more tightly controlled shapes, simply create skinnier faces. You can do this by inserting edges, which will split existing faces in two. The power of T-splines is that all the faces smoothly transition into one another, no matter how far you push and pull the surface. This power lets T-splines add unique features to Rhino, like piping a network of curves and getting a smooth, editable surface, or modeling with multiple kinds of symmetry, or easily adding a thickness to any T-spline surface to turn it into an editable solid. All T-spline's features are focused on making it easier for you to make freeform organic shapes. T-Spines integrates tightly with Rhino, which is a powerful general CAD program. We recommend using T-Spines for the freeform shape of your model, then using Rhino commands to boolean and trim the surface for final details. T-Spines is also integrated with Matrix 7, the award-winning jewelry-specific CAD program. Download a free trial of T-Spines for Rhino at tspines.com and start modeling your own unique jewelry today.